Today's read aloud is called Edward the Emu by Shana Knowles, illustrated by Rod Clement. It's published by HarperCollins Publishing, and thank you for letting us read aloud. It's dedicated for Margot and Zoe, and here's our title page, Edward the Emu by Sheena Knowles, illustrated by Rod Clement. Edward the Emu was sick of the zoo. There was nowhere to go. There was nothing to do. And compared to the seals that live right next door, well, being an emu was frankly a bore. So that night when the zookeeper went home to bed, Edward jumped from his pen and he laughed as he said, the seals are best anybody can tell. So tomorrow I'll just be a seal as well. The next morning at nine, when they opened the zoo, the seals were swimming and Edward was too. He dived in the water and basked in the sun and he balanced a ball on his beak just for fun. Well, Edward was really enjoying the day till he overheard someone behind the fence say, the seals are always amusing, it's true, but the lion's the best thing to see at the zoo. So that night when the zookeeper went home to bed, Edward jumped from the pool and he smiled as he said, the lion's the best anybody can tell. So tomorrow I'll just be a lion as well. The next morning at nine, when they opened the zoo, the lions were roaring and Edward was too. He snarled at the ladies and growled at the men. Life was certainly grand for a lion in his den. Well, Edward was having a wonderful day till a man in the crowd had the gumption to say, the lion's a beast I shall always detest. The snakes are the things that I like to see best. So that night, when the zookeeper went home to bed, Edward crept from the cage and he grinned as he said, if the snakes are the best things and that's what they say, then tomorrow I'll just be a snake for the day. The next morning at nine, when they opened the zoo, the snakes were all hissing and Edward was too. He slept round the rocks. It was magic to see. Then he curled himself casually up round a tree. Well, Edward was just warming up for the day when he overheard one of the visitors say, the snakes are impressive. I know that it's true, but the emus by far the best thing at the zoo. The emu, gasped Edward. My goodness, that's me. I'm the thing that the gentleman most likes to see. Not the seals, the lions, the snakes, and the rest. It's Edward the emu he likes to see best. So that night when the zookeeper went home to bed, Edward slipped from the cage and he laughed as he said, if the emu's the best, then that's easy then. Tomorrow I'm Edward the emu again. Edward ran to the place where he used to reside, but oh, what a shock when he clamored inside. He found himself suddenly come face to face with the emu they'd brought in to take Edward's place. The emus considered each other a while. Then the new emu said with a shy little smile, Hello, 
I'm Edwina. It's nice meeting you. You're the best thing I've seen since I came to the zoo. The end. I hope you liked Edward the Emu. What kind of animal would you like to be? Let me know. Send me a message. Have a great day.